Well, of course, uh, in that exclusive story, the SABC can tell you uh, that, of course, our reporter Jade Lee Pulser has uh, come up uh, with uh, an exclusive for us, a relative of the late co-author of the controversial book, The Lost Boys of Bird Island, Mark Minnie, has dispelled any thoughts of his apparent suicide, saying that the family believed Minnie was assassinated. The controversial book, which was published last week, reveals a shocking expose of an official cover-up of a paedophile ring involving former Minister of Defence Magnus Milan and three other National Party cabinet members. The gun found lying next to author Mark Minnie's body is said to belong to his friend and former police colleague Brent Barnes. A suicide note was also found at the Thieskomb small holding where he was staying. But family members say Minnie told them days before he died that if anything happened to him, they must know he was killed. He has been mentioning it to us for quite a long time. I spoke to a couple of my cousins today and to all of them he expressed that his life was in danger and that if anything did happen to him, we must know that it was done to him, not by himself. Before his death, Minnie was approached by many people with more damning evidence, which he planned to reveal in a follow-up book. Dodo believes more prominent individuals would have been named. She says he feared for his life, telling friends and family he was being watched. And I knew about the book for many years, and I also knew about what he'd been through. It really played him that he had seen and been involved with the investigation surrounding the book. Books, I could actually say, because there is further information. Mark was not a coward. Mark faced life head on. There is no ways that I or any of us believe that he would have opted out. And that is why I've actually agreed to do this interview, to dispel any thoughts and rumours that this could have been a suicide. He wasn't the type of man that was cowardly and that would do something like that. His love for his family and his friends and his colleagues that he worked with um, would have, it wouldn't have been right. It wouldn't have been right for the man that Mark was. The family also believes the suicide note was staged. I've said that from the very beginning. This supposed suicide note was either written under duress and I would like to see it before I will believe that it was written by Mark. Police say if foul play is evident in the case, the docket will change to murder. I'm Jade Lee Paulser for SABC News in Port Elizabeth.